King's Custom Garage. In this video, I want to take care of the cab corners. Uh, I've got the new replacement panels, so we're going to get all the bad cut out on both sides, and we'll get the new ones welded in. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to take care of the rear cab corners. Um, I know in the, the last video I said I thought that's what I was going to take care of in this one, and I figured we might as well. We already got the cab corners in. Uh, they come in a little early than I was expecting, so we'll just go ahead and knock them out. Um, I've got one stuck up there for time being, just, you know, getting a feel for it and, and whatever. Um, I was really just trying to see how I wanted to go about cutting it out and replacing it. Um, I mean, I know you could come in and, and do the whole panel, but none of that in the door area is bad it's all still good all the way down it needs a little bit of work under the lip but i think it's more or less it, it's not it's got a little rust to it but i think it's just split um so, but even if i've got to cut out a little strip on that bottom section down there and replace it i had already planned on having to do some work on that lower rocker area anyways um so my thought is is to not mess with cutting the door area out. Leave all this. It's good. Uh, come in, you know, here-ish or so, and make that my cut, and just stitch weld it all back in. Uh, it would almost be the same as if I made my own own panel because I wouldn't make this section here, being that I didn't need to replace it in the first place. So I know that's not using the whole panel that I bought, but that I just don't want to mess with cutting out the door area if I don't have to. I know it's going to be a headache. I don't know if you can see, but there's a spot weld. There's So there's spot welds down this seam, and I'd have to go down through there and grind all those spot welds out. I'm going to have to do some on the side over here anyways. Um, so and the bottom lip which some of that bottom lip for the inner rocker is rusted so my thought is is to cut out everything i need to cut out to get this in and once i get this in i'll come in off the back side and i'll fill in that inner rocker and i'll just fix what's rusted instead of buying an inner rocker you're not going to see that uh, for the most part it's kind of just a flat piece it might have a little bit of a roll to it but for the most part, the inner rocker is, uh, the inner cab corner, we don't really have to worry about working a contour into it. So my thought is, is to get these on and then we'll worry about the inner and just cut it all out and go back in with a piece of sheet metal and replace what we need to. Um, so I don't know, I don't really know which side I'm gonna start on. It's not really gonna matter both sides need to be done obviously um, and I know I still have to worry about doing some work around the frame area here I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do there yet uh, but I'm gonna end up trying to do like a roll uh, maybe even where this just comes up and and rolls here kind of like it does down there so maybe roll here to roll this way and then bring it up and have it curve and roll over the frame and same on that side but i don't know i'll worry about that later i'm not even going to mess with that area right now uh, i'll probably do that whenever i focus on doing the floor of the cab um and more than likely the cab i'll just take the cab off of the frame uh once i kind of get an idea of the way the floor needs to be um so i'm not even going to worry about all of that for now right now I'm going to focus on these cab corners um, and get them knocked out so I'm going to do some messing around with one side or the other and kind of get a, a feel for how I'm going to do it where I'm going to cut my panel both sides will probably be a little different um, this side's not as bad as the other side so technically I don't have to replace the whole panel but I think what I'm going to end up doing is just for the most part cutting it wherever it needs to be cut out here and replacing the rest just because it's all good 
Uh, I know these corners have been messed with in the in the past. They've got bondo or, or plastic fill in them. So uh, I'm going to cut out the whole section there and I'm just going to weld it straight across. I'm going to have a weld seam there anyways wherever I decide to splice it in. So I'm just going to use pretty much that whole panel except for right around the door area. Uh, and I'll just cut that off and we'll stitch weld it down the front there. Um, and I may even, I may even cut that off and I've got some Clecos and maybe drill a few holes and use my Clecos to hold that panel on there and then maybe somewhat do a cutting butt um, and then work that lower area. Uh, but my idea is is to somewhat work that bottom section where it's got that lip. Uh, it should have some uh, spot welds in that area. So my thought is is to work that area, figure out if if it's all rotten behind it. I'm not going to worry about cleaning the uh, the spot welds because if it's rusted, it's going to get cut loose. So if it's to where I can just cut it and I'll worry about replacing the back side whenever we're done, um, then that's what I'm gonna do. But if it's in good enough shape that I need to grind those spot welds loose and start working that outer skin loose from the inner rocker, then that's what I'm gonna do and get that bottom area took care of and then that way we can just come up here and cut it, cut it loose. So let me get some stuff set up, figured out, and whatever and I'll get you set back up okay so I've looked at this and instead of cutting all that out because all that's good there's no rust up there there's one rust hole the highest rust hole is right there and then there's a bubble right there so what I, what my idea is is to come in here and and cut it you know if it's not this high then cut it down here but use this out of the new one and this is the old body mount hole uh, I'm not using that body mount and in the new panel it's still solid it's never been cut out so my thought is is to fill that hole in the process out of the new one so my thought is is to come and cut over and then maybe angle down between this body line and that hole uh, because I know if I start going and welding this body line it's never going to turn out right so and I know it's it's hidden by the bed but still um, so my thought is to angle cut down and then uh, come straight across all the way over to my door and just replace that bottom section and leave all this up here uh, so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I think even then being that the other side there's more um, it it could still somewhat be done the same way um, I know it could be done the same way and I actually might try to knock some of that dent out and not come that high um, unless there's some hidden damage up there that I just don't know about yet. Um, I may knock that dent out and not go that high. So I'm going to set you up on the tripod. And I'm probably just going to time lapse this first one. That way I can get a feel for it. And uh, I may still yet change my idea of how I'm going to do it. But I'll time lapse the first one. And then maybe the second one, I'll, I'll show you, you know, step by step or, or however uh, I go about doing it. Okay, so here's what I've done. I went ahead and got my piece up there as best as I could um, using some Clecos. If you don't know what a Cleco is, you can drill a hole in two panels, two pieces of metal. When you drill that hole,
it's got a little nub on the end so when you release it it pulls back against the metal and tightens the two pieces together you just drill a hole these are uh, 1 8 I also have some 3 16 that it'll hold it up there for you so you can you, know, you can use them start welding them in you can come do a cutting butt you know cut start cutting loose and then working it in welding it back cut some more weld some more cut some more until you get the piece replaced um, but that's that's what I'd use to hold the panel up there uh, some people use self tappers works the same and then when you're done you just go back and weld up the little hole oh. but so that's what I think I'm gonna do I come in and cut that door lip off um, like I said that that whole area is good on the on the cab and I don't see the point in dealing with the headache of grinding down those spot welds and all that mess in that door area and uh, I can just cut it right there do a cutting butt start welding it back in um, the bottom the bottom will get pulled in just a tad it's just because the other piece is still there it's got it pushing out just a tad so what I'll probably do is I know I've been back and forth on which way I was going to do it but what I'm probably going to do is take this back down uh, come in just below my holes for my Clecos and cut the majority of all of the old out and then I'll come over here and I'll come in you know here-ish or so uh, and I'll make me a cut and cut all that loose get all that out of the way that way I can put this panel back up here hold it up with the Clecos and then start running my cut disc down the edge here once I've got enough cut I can start working that panel in I'll probably do this front section here get it tacked down that front section real good so I can make sure it's pulled here where it needs to be and then once all that's tacked in and uh, held into place I'll start this top lip rolling around and then once it's really only those two sides that have to be welded and then they're supposed to be the inner cab corner would uh, spot weld to that lip and this lip that rolls under but all of that's rotted out on that lower section so when I go in here and cut all this out I don't even know that there's any hold in it on that lower section right there right now uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut out once I get it cut out I'll cut you back on okay so I got for the most part I got it cut out you can see where I have it cleaned up that will be the weld seam I'll get my panel put up that'll kind of be where it ends up getting cut is where it's cleaned up there but I figured I'd show you that's how much I ended up cutting off for the first go around um, and then I'm I'm gonna put the panel up there show you how it hold it gets set up there and held in place with the Clecos that's where the panel will be um, I'll take and uh, probably go ahead and start getting it welded in 
Um, now all I'll do is I'll just take the uh, cut off disc, make me a cut. You know, you 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 normally have to cut a little more than you would think, but you got to get it loosened up enough that you can start working that new piece in place where the old piece was. So uh, let me get a few things and get my welder set up and all that and we'll start getting the rest of it cut out and tacked into place. So that side's done, uh, and I don't know if you've seen or not, but I did do some work on that inner cab corner area before I put this piece on. Um, it's not completely done, but I've done enough that I could make sure it was gonna in, uh, it was gonna line up with the outer cab corner. Um, but I've done basically from here over is completely took care of on the inner cab corner it's just that little rolled area here in the corner that i've got to finish up um i think it went well uh, i got spot welded down here across the seam to where i'm done uh, i need to grind that area still and i'm probably going to grind the whole thing and get that coating off of it but I think it went I believe it looks great um, and you know everything will get all the weld seams will get a little coat of plastic fill or body filler bondo whatever uh, we may do a little bit of fiberglass over the welds and then do a little bit of body fill. Um, but I'll probably get a, everything set up now and we'll start getting the other side figured out and get it welded in and took care of. Um, hopefully it goes as smooth as this one did. I'll probably do the same thing. I'll get everything cut out and then I may 
uh, when I'm getting everything mocked up, I may just go ahead and do some work on that inner cab corner area as well, kind of like I've done this side. Um, so let me get everything set up and we'll get the other side knocked out. Okay, so I went ahead, got this side cut out and somewhat prepped. And unfortunately, I'm doing this one a different, little different that I'm gonna do that whole door area. And reason being, this side right down in here, it was all rusted out on the other one. Uh, all of this was rusted out on the, uh, on the, the factory piece. So I had thought about maybe just kind of cutting at the bottom and just replacing that bottom section but I figured the headache of dealing with just that little section, I might as well go ahead and do the whole section if I'm gonna have to try and work this door area, uh, door seam in. I've went ahead, drilled some holes to spot weld it in, clean the top lip. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start working the area that's rusted out on that inner cab corner. Um, It'll mainly be just a little flat section right there, and then I'm going to try and do something with that right there, and you can see it's kind of rolled and curved right there for the, uh, the, the outer cab corner. So I'm going to work that as best as I can to get it to match up, and then uh, once I get those two areas somewhat cleaned up and cut out and replaced, I'm going to clean that whole area that's exposed up right there and I'm going to spray it with some some paint. I've got either some sealer or something. I'll put something on it. Uh, I've done this, the other side the same way before I welded the outer skin on um, just to give it a little bit of protection. Um, I do have some rust barrier but I don't know that I had enough. I didn't know that I had enough in a spray can to do both sides, so I didn't do the rust barrier. Um, that would probably be the best thing to do in those two areas, because I feel like they they made it to where it wouldn't collect any road grime, but that's really all it does. Uh, I had swept the floor before I started, and when I started pulling all that apart, you can see all. I mean, some of it's rust, but. The other side was really bad. So I figure we'll clean it up, coat it with some paint or some sealer or something um, to kind of help maybe not have it rust again. Um, so I've about got it. Uh, I, I've actually cut a little more than what I wanted to off. The top of that replacement panel is not exactly straight. So, um, what I'm probably going to do is get the bottom matched up as best as I can and clamp to, and then I'll probably start working the door area and then across the top. My one concern is is getting these lips to line up right, and then I noticed that this body line on the replacement panel, it seems like it's too far this way. So... I'm hoping that once the rest of this is cut out and it tries to fall into place, it'll shift over to where it needs to be. If not, I may actually have to come into that new piece and do a couple little cuts to move that over just enough to get that to line up. I know the bed covers it, but I would like for it to line up if possible. Um, so I'm going to do my best to get it to line up. The other side where I welded it, I was concerned with it not looking that great. Um, but I think it worked out fine. Uh, just from grinding down, it, I need to add a little bit of filler on the curvature right here and right here. But I think it looks great. So I'm hoping I can get the other side to look just as good. Um, so that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking if I can't get it to line up which I know I, I somewhat had the same issue on the other side but and it kept being just because it still had access behind that panel it didn't want to sit in there where it was supposed to but this one that top line isn't exactly straight it's kind of higher on the door side and lower on the back side so I'm hoping that's not going to affect it um, 
I almost feel like I wish I wouldn't have cut all that out and I would have just done the bottom section because I could have cut this up and it would have been a lot easier to work that top uh, gap uh, seam weld seam whatever uh, so let me get let me get a few things together um, and I'll get you set up on the tripod and we're gonna fix that inner rocker or that inner cab corner So, I'm going to take a break on this for tonight, and I'm going to wait and finish up that intersection tomorrow. I need to do a little bit more fab work and, and stuff just to get that bottom lip to set right. Um, the, I need to do the, the inner cab corner to finish it up and then I'll be good to start getting this on. Um, but I've went ahead and cleaned up that bottom or that top roof line. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set you up and I'm gonna weld that thing solid. I figured, I mean, I've already shaved a couple of the smaller um, panel gaps, panel seams. Um, so I figured we would do that one and I mean I, it's kind of smaller so it could have easily been done with some body filler plastic filler bondo something like that um, but being that we're doing all the metal work uh, I'm gonna go ahead and weld it up and then after it's welded up we can prep it the same way that we will all the other weld seams um, so I'm going to get you set up and we're going to go ahead and work on getting that welded up.
Okay, so I went ahead and finished that inner cab corner area, got it cleaned up and uh, sprayed with some paint. I had to finish, just do this, this top roll here. Um, I didn't clean that weld up perfect, but you won't see it. It's good enough. Um, so I figured I'd show you the the pro or the the after uh, with it being done before I put the panel on. But I think I've got everything ready that I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up, and we'll start getting the new cab corner put on. Okay, so my camera died, so I went ahead and uh, once I realized my camera had died, I stopped. Um, but I had finished welding that in uh, and started grinding. I went ahead, ground down that top lip area some also. Um, but I, I need to get back to grinding, finish getting the welds ground down, and I'm gonna take that black coating off both sides. Um, and then I had to come in and I had to cut out a strip and add. So what I ended up doing, this, this body line was not lining up. It was too far that way. So I ended up cutting that loose. I brought it over where it needed to be, got everything lined up, got it tacked in across the top and clamped at the bottom. And then I come back in and added uh, two strips and the only reason I done two strips is I used I had to trim some off of both of both panels off this side here uh, so I used those and it just wasn't long enough um, but I done that to fill that gap uh, I don't know why this panel was it, it was a pain to get it in and lined up it just, I don't know if something was tweaked on it or when it was pressed, it didn't come out right or what. That side was fine, which I know I cut it loose at the door side and didn't use the entire thing. But as far as everything going and, and flowing and, and fitting and lining up, everything was fine. This side was not. So um, I almost wish I wouldn't have replaced the whole door lip area. I wished I would have just cut up off the bat at the bottom and replaced it and left the rest because I feel like if I would have done the same as I've done on that side that would have allowed me to get it right and I wouldn't have had to cut it here um, but it, it is what it is I mean it's, 
it turned down okay um but i've still got a lot of grinding to do and uh, i just figured last night whenever i seen that the camera had died i just figured that i would uh i would stop for the night and pick back up today uh but i think um I think I'm going to do some cleaning and clean some tools up and stuff and then I'm going to get back on grinding and get the rest of this ground down. I want to get this side, the black coating ground off of this side and then once that's all done, um, probably going to work on getting the bed put back on it and stuff for now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to work on in the next video yet, so I'll probably get the truck back together, um, and then we'll figure out where to head next. Um, we're getting real close on all the rust as far as what needs to be cut out and replaced. Um, I know there's still the grill and that lower splash shield bumper valance um, they need some attention and like I said I don't know what I'm gonna do yet and then the floor in the cab I don't know how much of that was actually rusted out and how much was just cut out um, because they were getting ready to channel or whoever had started working on it was prepping to channel the the cab for a body drop so but the rockers still need some work um, on both sides and the doors. Both the doors need the bottoms replaced, inner and outer. Um, so I haven't decided yet if I'm going to buy just the inner and outer replacement panels for the doors or if I'm going to look for another set of doors. Um, I know the replacement panels, I've already found them, I've looked at them. They're I think it's under 200 bucks for for the panels all four panels and that would be for both sides but i've had the thought that if i could just find a good set of doors that was in better shape than these and maybe the whole bottom wasn't rotted down or something like that maybe just find another set of doors um, i've seen a few on marketplace but nothing's really been close to me um, and I just look at it if I'm going to have to spend a day or so to drive and go pick them up or an arm and a leg to ship them, I'll just buy the panels and, and replace and fix what I've got. Um, I, I've, I don't know how much time I would have in the doors, but even then, I think it would be just better option to fix what I have. The tops of the doors are fine. It's just the bottom section, and this one's got a dent right there. Um, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod, and I'm gonna do some cleaning, get some tools and stuff cleaned up, um, and then we'll get back on grinding this down.
guys. So I got it all cleaned up. Got the, the welds finished ground down on this side. Um, I still need to do a little bit of work on like the bottom lip area just to get the rest of that coating off. Um, but I'll do that later, uh, either whenever I get the cab off and do the floor or, or at some point. I do need to go back around and touch up a few pinholes. Um, and when I do that, I may finish grinding it down then. Um, but I think it looks good. I haven't really seen any issue. Um, there's a little spot right here where the grinder got in. But uh, other than that, the door gap seems to be fine. I need to come back. This little lip right here needs to be hammered back. It didn't get welded or anything like that. It just flops over. This seam got welded, spot welded. Um, but I think, considering the, the headache that that was to do, uh, this side was a lot more difficult just because that panel wasn't right. I don't know, I trimmed the top and tried to get it as flat as I could, but it, it was almost like the panel was just tweaked um, and I couldn't get it to sit right. Uh, I need to come back in and trim down here. There's a, a little spot that's just a little bit longer from that piece that I put in. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, the top, I need to go back in and, and obviously weld up some pin holes in it and when I do that it'll get ground down again. Um, but I think I think it looks a lot better now that those cab corners are there and the roofs took care of uh, you know I, I know I, I have a little bit of touch up work to do but I'm just trying to get everything if I could get everything to where I could just go around and maybe spend a day or so um, just doing some welding and touching up stuff or, or grinding stuff down and cleaning stuff up, that's kind of what I'm trying to do just because there's going to be so much of it anyways. Um, if I'd done every little piece here and there and went back and touched up and ground and went back and touched up and ground it just makes for some long videos so i figured i'd get everything for the most part to the same through the same process and kind of to the same point and then we would just go back and kind of hit everything um that needs it anyways and i still need to finish this inner cab corner down here um, I wished I would have done it the same way I'd done this one over here, but that one was a lot worse and there was a lot more missing. So, um, but it'll be okay. I'll get it took care of probably when I take the cab off to do the floor. Um, I'll probably end up just laying it on its back and doing the floor like that for the most part. That's, that's kind of my plan. I don't really know may end up doing it just sitting on the frame like it is I, I'm I'm not sure but yeah so I I think what I'm gonna do is maybe go ahead and start getting <clears throat> sorry maybe go ahead and start getting the bed put back on um, and we'll get it bolted back on and get the running boards bolted back on and then uh, probably going to clean it up it's got a lot of metal shavings and and just metal dust all over it on the inside all over the frame um, so i'm gonna probably do that and then i'll probably call this a video um, 
I think this door gap too I don't remember if I showed it or not but it looks good also which I expected this one to look good because I didn't cut all it out it was still there nothing nothing for the door gap changed on the the driver's side and see here these little indentions here would be for the factory body bolt body mount bolt um, so everything's still there for those except for just the mount itself so if we did ever decide to go back to those mounts we just have to drill that hole in this outer skin and we'd be able to run our bolt back through but that's not how it's mounted right now um, so I didn't see the point in even having the holes there. I had considered shaving them and filling them in. Um, but I probably would have just shaved it smooth. But being that the indentions are there already, uh, if we did decide to go back to those style mounts, it'd make it a lot easier. So I think I'll uh, uh, set you up and i'll start trying to figure out getting the bed back on might have to wait until uh my buddy comes over later uh, i can i can carry the bed but i haven't tried to carry it since the tailgate and all that's been put on it so i don't know if i could carry it by myself and it's raining outside so <laughs> um, but we'll get this one finished up get the bed put back on it and all that and then uh, maybe give it a, a good little wash. All right, so I've got the bed back on. Um, I had my, my buddy Joven that's been in several of the videos. He uh, stopped by earlier and helped me get it set back up on there. Um, I'm not gonna worry about putting the running boards on right now, just because I don't really know what I'm gonna do on the next video. Um, so instead of putting them on and possibly having to take them back off I'm just gonna leave them off for now um, but uh, our weather is not the greatest right now and I want to get it cleaned up and get all the metal shavings and metal dust and stuff uh, cleaned up off of it so I figured that I would at least get the bed put back on it um, I can't I can't really do it by myself so I figured I'd do it while I had the help um, but other than that I think I think we got a good bit accomplished in this video um, you know the cab corners are kind of a a big thing but the passenger side one just gave me a lot of problems so it made it worse than what I was expecting um, I procrastinated this side but uh, once I got to the passenger side, I just kind of went on and it ended up being way worse than this side. So I figured I'd cut you back on and uh, finish up the video. I'm hoping to get the doors figured out soon. Um, I've looked at the replacement panels and that may be, I may just get some replacement panels for the bottoms of the doors, but I think it looks good. I mean, small, small steps, but they all amount to a lot. Um, it may not look like there's been a lot done to the truck, but there's, there's been a, uh, quite a bit done, I feel. Um, so I'm going to call this a video uh, and uh, figure out what we're going to work on, on the, in the next one. And I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.